welcome back guys to this is much more podcast i'm evelyn and my co-host is roly vogues and happy new year guys happy new year to everybody it's 2023 let's make it a good year this yeah year. it's gonna be a great year it has to be a great year guys because i mean we always start off with that right but we're yeah. gonna keep the momentum and the feelings of the new year yeah. throughout the whole year yeah and if obviously y'all noticed that we did not drop this episode at 12 p.m um we're thinking about moving the slot to 6 p.m now Correct. so every monday at 6 p.m will be the new uh time slots for this and much more um mm -hmm. and that's honestly just to give me more time like to be able to edit and not like worry too much about like all, yeah and sometimes you know. he'll be at work and something goes wrong and he can't do it yeah but you know he won't teach me so i can't help him either so yeah. that's where <laughs> we're at so we're moving it to 6 p.m hopefully y'all can watch our episodes and join some good dinner and because I think that's what we're, we're going to do. <laughs> Probably yeah, play our episode while we're enjoying a good, like our dinner or something. Yeah, honestly. Because we sit down to eat like at 7, 7.30. Right? Yeah. Yeah, so I think it's a good time. Everybody's like just at the house already. Chilling, ready Nobody. to relax. Yeah, so I I, I think it'll work out. Yeah. It's, a, it's, it's a trial thing. Yeah, we're we're going to see, you know, and, yeah. and so, yeah. And um, with that being said, again, we hope y'all had a safe holiday, like a few safe holidays. Right? Mm -hmm. Damn, I said that wrong. Yeah. I hope y'all had like a safe holiday. Holiday. Yeah. But including Christmas too, because we yeah. didn't drop for it's Christmas. It's a whole holiday itself. So okay. That yeah. whole week. Um, and um, we're very excited because this and much more. We're pretty much booked up until February already. Um, yeah. So I'm excited because our guests, you know, you know, before we go into the 2023, I do want to give a big shout out and thank you to everybody who joined us in 2022. Y'all saw the clip. It was. It was very emotional. It was a yeah, good. It was a good clip. So if you haven't seen clip. the clip, go to the Instagram and you know it's there. I'm gonna pin it on the Instagram. Yeah, my so. brother was like, "Man, why y'all make it so sad?" Mm -hmm. But uh, I I don't know. Honestly, like I, the music does like give it like a like damn, that's crazy, you know. But uh, it it's a it's very a emotional yeah. vi uh, video for me, I yeah. guess, because it's like damn, we we're doing this shit, yeah. you know. And this but is I like, didn't feel like it was sad, you know. I didn't I feel felt, sad either. I thought it was more of an emotional but mm. maybe we felt it because it's us we're the yeah. ones putting all these hours like behind the podcast you know yeah. and then the way you you said it too like if your parents saw it they're probably thinking like damn we watched milo all this time so they can do all of this yeah you know like that yeah so we appreciate everybody that's came on and, yeah. and all these relationships and friendships that Amazing we've built you know like with a lot of good ass people yeah. cool ass people so it, it's a cool thing i love doing yeah. this shit man like i, I think it. i think 2023 is gonna do us real like so much good at, yeah. when it comes to the podcast um but yeah we and didn't oh, i was go gonna ahead. say shout out to y'all because my goal was 500 subs by the end of the year we reached that before so to me anything after that was a plus yeah for you, I know your goal was a little different, but yeah, I, I little, thought we were gonna hit a thousand. My we little didn't. overachiever over there, <laughs> but then this is crazy. So this is what like um, this is like a kind of like a lesson, you know. I I knew I kind of felt like all right, we're not gonna hit. But a thousand, you were kind of no. hoping we would have popped off. Yeah, like, something like something, something was gonna happen. Like yeah. boom, which it did, it did. you know. Yeah. But it didn't hit the the K. So I was like, all right. This just goes to show, like, when, for the people, since New Year's, everybody does goals and everybody's making mm -hmm. their list of stuff that they want to achieve. Not to overshoot or set a goal yeah, that's be, way too be, far, you know? Be realistic with yourself. He's right there. Oh, hold on. You can keep talking. Okay, so, like, I was saying um, when you walked off, basically that for me is um, I try to set up a realistic goal because if you set up, like, a super high goal, then... I feel like you're setting yourself up for failure from the get-go. Mm -hmm. Not that I'm like low-balling myself either, but it's something realistic, you know? Yeah. No, it's a bunch of small goals that make a big goal. Like, yeah. So it's like, yeah. So it's like my reaching for a thousand subs was like crazy. It's just like, okay, we're at, we're at the start of the year. Mm -hmm. You're able to be like, I reach my goal. I'm happy. And I could yeah. be like, fuck, I didn't reach mine. Like this bullshit, mm -hmm. you know? But uh, I mean... I'm no, happy too. But, but you know, I feel like you always <clears throat> knew though. Yeah, you, yeah. You, I, I think like... I think you were happy with hitting five, but you always wanted the one thousand because you just felt like it, our growth it it we rapidly grew in a few months. Yeah. You know, so yeah. I think with that it kind of motivated you to keep pushing for the one thousand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I mean, 
So yeah, so going into this year, I feel like it's gonna be kind of more realistic. Every year, What's to the me, goal? to me, it's just more realistic, more realistic. Yeah. No, yeah. What's the goal for this so much more? For this so much more for this year, for sure, a thousand subs. That's three hundred more. So yeah. I want to reach a thousand subs and just be monetized and like. I want yeah. That's gonna make that's some what I was gonna money say. out of like. Oh. I, the, the the end goal is not the money. No. But I want to see, like, okay, this is, this is. It's not just this, taking this, up our time. Yeah, this might be something, like, that that we can, like, work with, you know? Yeah. Um, this is not like it's a hobby, but in a way it is. So you want to, I, I want to, my goal for this and much more this year is to get monetized. Again, not for the money, because once we get monetized, it's not like we're going to get $100. It's probably yeah, going to be I know, I know a it's dollar a view, I mean, a dollar an episode or something, you yeah, know? Yeah, I know it's not going to be a lot. Yeah, so it's like, I'm, I don't care for the money, but. It would be cool to say, oh, yeah, our podcast is monetized. It's not a lot of money. Mm -hmm. It's barely any money, but we're mm -hmm. monetized. Yeah. And to get to that is where it's like, oh, shit, you know? Yeah. And another goal for me is just the consistency, you know? The consistency, I want to stay more consistent with it and even... With this and much more? Yeah. More consistent. I mean, honestly, man, we're, we, we do a real good job. How many episodes did we miss? Not even you can't even count it in, in a hand, right? Yeah. No. How many episodes we missed last year? But I think this year I don't want to miss any. Oh, any. Y'all gotta give us three at least, though. Okay, right, three, so three strikes. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I as far I as for me, I like I don't want to miss any. Like there shouldn't be a a reason why we miss an episode, you know? Yeah. But it's you just sometimes you just never know. Like it's sometimes it's, it is out of our hand. Yeah, sometimes you know? it is out of our hands. Like yeah. literally this weekend, like the holidays, like we had everything scheduled. We had the two episodes for Mexico. They didn't go through. Neither go through. My birthday didn't go through. The holidays were just crazy, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of stuff that was like out of our hands. Yeah. But I mean, we could have, you know, maybe done one like super late or something. Yeah. But, like, right now that we're doing one, like, I like it because it's just like, okay, you know, mm -hmm. we're getting it done. But I think that next year consistency, yes, yes. And I think we did a good job last year of keeping the amount of times we missed less than five. So mm -hmm. I think that's the same goal for me for next year. Yeah. And then, I mean, another is thing. Recording? Yeah, it is. Oh. Another thing that I want to do is uh, obviously, like, just bring more guests and get more stories out mm -hmm. like uh and keep building you know just get I, I don't know like i i just i think uh networking and building these relationships is just super important especially for the stuff that we have going on aside from the podcast so bringing on more people and just building genuine relationships with it with them I know. is super important for like me. i'm already looking forward to somebody specifically i wonder who it's a guy a guy mm-hmm uh, I don't know. I have to. I don't, I don't even know who's booked because I I've like, always, which I kind of like I've that. I've booked a lot of people. Already. Yeah, which I kind of like that. Like, I'll send you like who I think would be cool, you know, and mm -hmm. then she's the one that's like more in the DMs and talking to the people or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Plus, I'm still in the loop though. But oh. And let me just say this, guys. Um, it's pretty annoying. Maybe it's not annoying. Maybe it is annoying. It is annoying that we get DMs. We get a few DMs that people want to join us on the podcast. But they're not even following yeah. the Instagram account. To me, that's like, okay, how are you going to reach out to me and tell me you want to be on our podcast and not even follow our IG? Yeah. Like, that's like, that don't fly with me. Like, you know, but I try not to be like, oh, we're like high, you know, we're not high. We're not up there either. No. But I mean, give us a follow. Mm -hmm. If that's how bad you want to join us, like, give yeah. us a follow. No, like, no, that's know? facts. Yeah. But, um. But yeah, I'm excited because we have a lot of girls coming up and we're going to we're going to join somebody else on their podcast. Oh, yeah, we're going to hop gonna on a few podcasts. Yeah, so I'm excited for that, too. And then we have Alegres Milagros next weekend. Oh, yeah, next I'm weekend's so Alegres Milagros finally. So all the toys are pretty much over there. We have a few more, right, that were donated, um, mm. which we're going to take on that trip over there. And then it's just the perfect way to start the year. Like yes. 20, like uh, January is like. I feel like now we look forward to that. You yeah, know? it's our third year in January doing this. Yeah, so. so it's it's gonna be pretty cool. Um, but make sure to like document everything, take videos. I know Milo's um, wearing the little outfit. Yeah, he has a, a like an overall. Um, a jumper suit, no? I forgot what they're called, but 
Yeah, it says change the world. Okay, say change, change the, the world. world. And Milo Roland thrifted that for him like last year. Yeah. So and it barely fits him good. <laughs> I mean, if it fits him good. Yeah, it did. It does. Oh, you I tried, tried it, on it on. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah that's pretty dope. So, um, but yeah, guys. So make sure to you know give us a follow. Um, subscribe once we reach the 1000 subscribers we want to be able to bring back a few of our guests because yeah. just you know give them the worth that like um make sure it's worth their time coming back yeah because you guys will see like we'll, we'll kind of like go over their uh prior episode or whatever and then talk to them and see what they've accomplished and mm -hmm. you know let's because the growth is real like a lot, if if you're barely starting out doing something that you're, you're kind of thinking like man i don't know like or i wonder where i'm gonna be next year like mm -hmm. this is like the perfect podcast for, for you to see the proof and then yeah, it's like exactly especially with us because i remember when we started it and we were barely getting any views we weren't getting much like traction and i was like man like imagine where we're gonna be a year from now you know mm -hmm. and it's this year in september will be what we started Second in september year. right yeah it's like we're we'll right be now. two years so mm -hmm. okay it's until september that we're gonna like be the official year mm -hmm. but from the begin, from the very start of it to where we are now there's no way that i would have thought like we'd be here you yeah know? i feel like it's been an a, it's been a slow but an amazing growth for yeah. me honestly like yeah. and like overall like i said the relationships is like the best part especially for me because i feel like you already have the connections with the people but yeah. i get to meet and see this <clears throat> whole world and i'm just like oh shit like yeah and i like that people we're, we're just i know if i see if we see any of our guests like out you know in public mm -hmm. and stuff like it's all gonna be love you know like it's yeah. pretty dope and then i wanted to do a quick shout out let me go get the item okay but yeah guys so just know that 2023 is gonna be full of blessings we're gonna be full of like success it's gonna be a very successful year for all of us you know so but you're doing the yeah because we have to post it i wanted to post it Damn, on like, that's the crazy page. and i didn't even post it but but it's just been crazy so yeah. um i wanted to do a shout out and then take a picture of it so a big shout out to um, the 93 fan. They came, Miguel. and uh, She's out of breath, guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> so crazy. All right. But yeah, yeah. they came on here and then uh, Miguel came and uh, he brought us like the T-shirt. Man, it's such a dope shirt. So basically, yeah. shout out to y'all guys. Thank you for thinking of us. It's their friends and family tea. And um, damn. I ran, that's why. I was running. You were already out of breath from the beginning, honestly. I was though. running. <laughs> but yeah, so they brought this t shirt. Uh they were able to we we're able to like receive this and, and it means a lot, man. Like this is just so cool. Like yeah. this is the what we're talking about, about building re relationships and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like for us to receive gifts and stuff, um, it's just it means a lot, you know. Yeah, because we don't expect them, so whenever he reached out and said oh what are your sizes or whatever i'm like okay cool you know and then he brought them and i'm just like damn that's dope yeah. you know from the 93 fam so shout out to them thank y'all yeah. we really appreciate it i'm probably gonna rock this in mexico straight up with It'd like a nice, nice little fit yeah but again guys um so what what are some of your goals like if you want to yeah what I are have your top mines. three? Oh, you have i don't even have any so i'm just gonna wing it you're gonna wing it oh, i've been thinking goals. about mine no i haven't well, you know, shout out to you, know, because she always gets me thinking about my stuff like that, yeah. right? So <laughs> she don't like she don't. Yeah, give me and a shout break. out to you, know, because she just got engaged. So congratulations! Oh yes, congratulations! On that. I wrote them down. Okay, so last year my goals were put myself first, which mm -hmm. I think I did a good job this year. You did a good job at that. Damn, I changed a lot, right? Like yeah. with that. Okay, to consistency, but I feel like I did good with this and much more. But I burnt myself out with AI Mas. Yeah. Right? And do what is best. So I think I did that. You know, do I what's think, best? Do it. Yeah, do what's best. Like, you know, mm -hmm. just try your best and do what is best for me or for whatever. Mm -hmm. I feel like I did that. So this year, my goal is my number one goal this year is don't waste time. I don't want to waste time. I don't want to bullshit around anymore. So. That's one thing. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm just looking at you. Oh. <laughs> the second one is to stay consistent. But I'm going to be, I'm not just going to say be consistent. My consistency is going to focus on AI mass this year. Mm -hmm. But not burn myself out. Plan, organize, you know? Yeah. And then 
continue putting myself first you know as in me my needs my emotion my emotions you know stuff like that so those are my three goals this year just not to waste time stop bullshitting i mean yes i'm gonna take a break here and there so i don't want you to tell me if you see me on the couch i thought you said you weren't gonna waste time (laughs) i never do i know but i'm telling you because this is my goal now right but what i mean is staying more organized because you do motivate me like to you know the whole to-do list that's what I mean. Like, I'm going to have my to-do to do list to organize my time and not have any, like, bullshit stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. Like that. Yeah. So. <clears throat> For sure. Me, I just want to stay organized, like, more organized, you know? Mm-hmm. I constantly redo my schedule. I mean, if you watch the podcast, you know, we talk about it all the time. Um, he just but, redid it yesterday. Yeah, but y'all should download to do. T-E-U-X, D-E-U-X, to do. Yeah. yeah. To me, it's like. It's not perfect, you know, but it's just I know how to work it to where it, it's able to work for me. You yeah. Know? That's or like, buy a planner. Yeah, or buy a planner, you know. I have uh, both. If it, if it helps you, like, write it down or whatever. Because I do, I use different things. So it's like, the to-do is like my my pretty much schedule. Daily. And then I have, like, on my iPad, you know, I, I have my, like, content calendar thing, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, But, yeah, so I would want to stay organi- organized. I would want to um build the businesses that i currently have and i don't want to burn myself out either so it's like i want to it's because i want i I was going to say like i want to work but i don't want to overwork myself but you know like people who hustle and shit all the time just constantly overwork themselves you know yeah so i want to do it to where i overwork in the smart way in the smart way Mm -hmm. yeah and just not like like push out content push out the work push out yeah. the products but i'm being like do it smart and not like try to catch up you yeah. know it has to be a a very where i, d- I don't fuck myself up mentally yeah. you know and then also where you're enjoying it too yeah. you know because honestly guys <clears throat> for me with ai moss i feel like i did burn myself out because i was like drop 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 and then i was just like oh shit like what the fuck am i doing i'm yeah. tired like and then i just didn't drop anymore you know but I'm excited just because AI Mas is going to be one of my biggest focus this year. I think it's three things. It's AI Mas, the This and Much More, and Whatnot. Mm-hmm. Those are my top three, consistent-wise, you know? Yeah. I feel like that's where I'm going to revolve businesses, my mentality, so I don't burn myself out. And maybe other stuff will come out throughout the year, you know? But as of right now, that's my main focus, yeah. you know? So. Yeah. And another thing I want to do is like just uh, I'm still iffy about it, but I don't I want to say like I want to find like help, find people that will grow with us. Mm-hmm. But then I don't know. No, I, I can't give myself. Bad. I cannot give up any tasks for anybody else like that. Except that he did really good because we have the whatnot. If y'all don't know what that is, check it out. It's an app and you can go buy and bid on there, right? Yeah, so follow us on whatnot. It's Marvelous Club Vintage. Yeah. It's, it's dope. Yeah, yeah, so we go on there and we've been doing some shows, right? So we'll go live and sell some clothes on there for like super cheap, right? Mm-hmm. And um, Roland has a bunch of inventory. He does. And he was telling me that he didn't have any, like he didn't have enough. And I'm just like... <laughs> nah baby boy you're tripping so i literally went and like folded all the clothes i'm still washing like i mean faltan like two batches to wash mm-hmm. and then i'm done and then i separated everything by size for him so yeah, yeah so pretty much it's like yeah the thrifted and the vintage clothes yeah so that's what she means by washing and everything like yeah it's stuff that i have like to bought, do for you know him. but i haven't done it yeah um, and i'm so glad that he finally like let me be a part of it. I was just like, okay. And then you let me, I'm so happy you let me organize your wall. I didn't think you were. I thought you were going to be very picky about it, you mm-hmm. know. But it, it made came me, out better. So. It made me happy to feel like, all right, he's allowing me to help him with this business that it's, it's not mine, but now it's ours, yeah. you know. So it's pretty cool. I y'all let, let him know he should accept the help because if it's there, it's <laughs> there, you know. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, other than that, like, I think this year is going to be good. Um, I'm going to be financially good as fuck. Like, yeah, financially. Find, oh, yeah. you know, get all these sources of income that we currently have and just like fucking push, keep pushing them, you know? Yeah, make it worth the time. Yeah. Like that, the growth that, you know, we've been having. So, yeah. So, I don't but know. But that being said, guys, um, if y'all want to comment, y'all three, y'all st- top three goals or even if it's just one go for it you know 
yeah let us like, know let, let us, us know. know if that way we might get inspired to like make that our goal as well you know yeah i mean i'm thinking about writing my goals on that mirror this mirror yeah like nice not not i was tacky. thinking about bringing in the whiteboard in here oh you should you should put it on this wall okay if i remove the i could do it here if i remove the whiteboard mm -hmm. then i can put my thing mm -hmm. where that okay that's where i have it right now oh okay you should put you should put it in here the what the whiteboard, the whiteboard yeah I can do that. so we can have like our meetings in here so there's more space you know that's true and you then see you see this is this is what what happens yeah <laughs> i like this shit this is like we start yeah. moving shit around the house and it starts working for us you yeah, know because we, we were doing the whatnots in here yeah and now that we have the wall and it has like all the clothes like stack nice stack nice we have all these decorations or whatever now the whatnots are going to be in my office mm -hmm. and it just fits the vibe more for that you know yeah it's just the way it, that we it, do it and yeah. i know that it probably makes your office feel more like creative i feel yeah. right yeah I and honestly it, that wall came like to my mind like so suddenly right like mm. we were just and i'm like oh you should do this you should do that and then you're like well i'm not gonna do an impulse and then what is it impulsive buy uh-huh and then i'm like okay well we'll go tomorrow and then we went the next day to go look and we ended up buying it because yeah, i was it. like man i don't want the i want the white shelves like if yeah. i'm gonna do it i want white shelves and then we saw black ones and i'm just like he didn't want uh, them. let's just do it man let's just do it but i think it looks nice that it's black, it looks nice. it's cool. because i feel like if it would have been white then the color of the wall would have been like kind of like this table in the wall yeah turkey <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i mean anything else that um no just you know guys it's, it's a new year i know it's like a whole fresh start but take it as a fresh start like it yeah. should be like if this is the time this is the time where you have the excuse to say you know what fuck everything i'm starting fresh and like this is the new me you mm -hmm. know i know it sounds corny but do it if it makes you feel better right yeah so so what is okay <laughs> just to end it off what are what's one piece of advice that you want to give somebody that i don't know like to become better better because i know we've been just talking you know but yeah <clears throat> one piece of advice what's yours okay mine that i practice a lot mm-hmm is just like keep to yourself so it's like uh not like pretty much don't get into people's shit you know like because honestly like me not getting into like any drama or getting into any any problems and shit like whether it's family friends or social media like just staying out of shit it's such it's a stress that you don't need you know mm -hmm. and without it i'm just like the the me this sí. I, I don't even know how to explain it to the simplest form it's just like just mind your business mind your business and be love your family like all i worry about is evelyn and milo and my immediate family that's all i worry about like i don't worry about nothing else no drama whatever show love to everybody obviously love everybody but don't get into stuff that's not about you and then yeah. you'll, you'll be happy. Like, you'll be good. You know, like, the only problems I ever worry about only have to do with us, you know? No, that's true. Uh, I mean, that's one thing. That's but. a good one. Yeah. I know you always tell me that. I mean, but you do see how people be blowing up my phone. Yeah, which that goes hand in hand with your goal of, like... Putting myself first. Putting yourself first. Yeah, which I have this year. Pretty much I practiced. that, you know? Yeah, that, that's the first. reason why I, I... That was my goal last year, to put myself first. And it was my number one goal. Because um, I that happened a lot to me. That a lot of people would look for me, which is fine, you know, like, hey, I, I'll hear your problems out, you know. Yeah. But I'm the type of person that does get, like, emotionally involved. Like, damn, they're hurting you. Now I'm hurting for you, you know. Mm. So that's why putting myself first became a thing for me, which yeah. it was really good because I feel like a lot of the, the bullshit problems, people knew not to come my way with that no more, you know. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, that's probably my advice. Yeah. Put yourself first, not selfishly, but just put yourself first and like, like that, like, you know, what's worth your time and what isn't worth your time. What's worth, you know, you getting emotionally involved. Yeah. That's what I, I would say is my advice. Putting yourself first, you know, so. Yeah, yeah. man, I, I had something else and literally just came to me while you're, but then you started looking at the mirror for some reason. Yeah, and it, the Jack Daniels bottle is open. What do you mean it's open? 
the little one. Oh yeah, it's because I washed it and I was letting air uh, dry out. Oh, I was air like, out. when did somebody drink that? No, it was empty. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Sorry, I was like, I was confused for a second. I was like, who drank that? That's that was that's why I was like looking at it like, <laughs> but I didn't even say anything. Yeah. And you were just looking at me. Right now, I'm just trying to think of what I was gonna say. Sorry. It, uh, nah, it's not your fault. You always break uh, it though. No, but this was a good one. Man, it was a it was a good one, honestly. <laughs> you always have good ones though. So it was talking about putting yourself first, avoiding the bullshit. Mhm. Um. It was like there. It's crazy because it's like if it's going, and I'm like, oh, and I didn't catch it, you know. <laughs> is it an is it an advice? Yeah. Oh, okay. And it was a it was a good one. Was too. it family related? Business related? Um, at this point, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just reaching for nothing. <laughs> All right. And then watch is like not even that good. <laughs> it is. <laughs> but yeah, guys, so that's our advice to you. Um, say yours again. Hmm? Say your advice again. Keep to yourself. Keep to yourself. Mine is <laughs> put yourself first. <laughs> it's the same thing. But, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. And um, yeah, just be happy at the end of the day. Just we tell Milo, don't be sad, don't be mad, be happy. And he's crying, and I'm like, show me happy. And then con las lágrimas, and he's mm-hmm. smiling. Mm-hmm. Hi, happy mommy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. All right, guys. Other than that, happy New Year. Hope happy hopefully year. you guys you know see a successful year, and nothing but blessings y'all y'all's way. You know. I was gonna say something. Okay. Go I, ahead. I, no, no, go, go, go. I have I have it on mine. Go. No, say mine. Go, stop. go, go. Okay. Why do people say Happy New Year's? I don't say Happy New Year's. I say Happy New Year. Okay. Because I say Happy New Year. But I've I, th- had- I think I say Happy New Year's for Happy New Year's Day. Oh, okay. Okay, that makes sense. What was your, what were you going to say? No, I was going to say, like, another one was, like, for us to go to church. Oh, yes. Know, this year. Mine, too. Uh, but, that was, but that wasn't the main thing, though. <laughs> yesterday didn't count. <laughs> it was the first misa of the year okay, but i was, I was hungover, super hungover man. yeah <laughs> shame on us oh another thing i will not i repeat this i will not be taking shots this year none at all here none on the podcast podcast real life events no shots for me just beer okay okay i'm okay. putting that out here because this is my my thing this is where I'm saying it. Like, I'm not taking shots. But, you know, like, you always give me the shots. There was like, Roland's going to take the shot with you. And then I don't know where you'll be like, okay, since y'all doing it, I'll do it too. Yeah, Nobody even tells you to do it. I know, because I want to be a part of it, you know. Mm. But I'm not going to be a part of it no more. I'm not going to entertain my body like that. I'm just going to drink beer. Because I like beer. Mm-hmm. I don't really like shots, so I'm just going to stick to drinking beer. So, no more shots for me. And no, guys, I'm not pregnant, so stop messaging Roland about that. <laughs> so, yeah. But all right, guys, that's it. Happy Peace, New Year. Happy New Year. Much love and thank you. Have a great one. Peace.